Hello, in this video we are going to cover how to add users. So the first thing we are going to do from our home page is go to the administration tab and we're going to go all the way down to users. Once your user page loads up, the two spots that you can add users is in the upper right hand corner you will see create new user and import new user. On here we're going to cover both options. So the first option is to create new user. We'll select that. Once the page opens up, we'll start on the user information page. On here you can enter the first name. You can enter a last name of your employee. The internal ID would then be the employee ID or observer ID, kind of any type of internal ID that you need for your user. You can enter that in. The user has an email address. You can enter an email address in there so then they can get alerts. Uh, you can also use that to send an activation email. So as long as the email is good, I can get emails out. For a phone number, you can also enter that in. If you don't need it or don't want to capture it, you can also skip over it. The next field is username. That can be any type of username that you would like to add. It doesn't have to be anything specific. If you have a certain one uh, that your company follows, first name underscore last name, first initial dot last name, however you'd like, you can make that username. At the bottom here, we also have a couple different uh, different features that you can use, uh, different things to turn on. The first one is set a random password. So if you have an email address and you're sending out that activation email that you'll see three down here, uh, you can set a random password um, and then also have a should change password on next login. So then you don't have to worry about giving out a password. but if you want to give a specific password, just uncheck the set random password. In here you can type this in. Make sure that when you type this in that it has uh, all the following at least one digit, one lower, uh, one uppercase, one alphanumeric, and at least char eight characters. I did not have the non-alphanumeric. and then make sure that your passwords match. Um, the next field is to change password on next login. So this is very good practice. It's easy so you can give out random passwords. You can do uh, for anything like different types of seasons. So spring, fall, winter, summer, and then the year. And you can do your company name, the year, and then an exclamation point. So really easy where you don't have to make sure that the observer or uh, user is using that password that you gave them so they can change that on the next login. If you'd like an email activation to go out, you can send that out. Um, if this is an active or an inactive user, uh, you can also make that selection here. So if they're actively logging into the system, uh, you want to make sure that they're active. If they're not and it's just a placeholder for a name, you can just go ahead and make that active. Un inactive, excuse me. For the lockout enabled, uh, you can have this once I hover over it, um, for say five, six amount of times that someone has failed to log in. It just gives them a minute and a half lockout. So you can best practice is to keep that selected. So that's adding our user information in. I'm going to scroll up to the top of our create new user page. So the next field over I want to go is to roles. So in here this is where you'll want to select the role. So if it's an observer, um, if it's an observer who's also a coach, an observer who's also a reviewer, or if it's an admin user, you don't need to select anything below, but depending on what the role is for that user, um, you need to know that coming in, to in ahead of time. But if it's just an observer, go ahead and select the observer field. Our next spot is the org unit. So anywhere that they have access to through the location, if it's just one location, you can select it. If it's multiple, then you can select that as well. And then also, if you do have multiple, 
just make sure that you select the default location so then it's easier to kind of track on reporting wise as well. The next tab we have over is extra info. So if you want to attach users to areas, departments, positions, shifts, you can go ahead and do that. So if our user is a contractor, usually in the area he's at is a loading dock, we can go ahead and put the position as operations, and then he works on first shift. We can have these selections, so then when this user goes in and makes an observation, they're able to fill that information out. We do have user notes, so any type of notes you want to add, you can do that. And then the last field is teams. So you can make any selections of who the user reports to and if they have any direct reports. So this is just an employee picker. This is great for goals and great for getting uh, that information out. So once we're done, we can save. Now once this loads, we can scroll down here and we can see we have our new user that we just added. So that's creating a new user. Now if we go in and import a new user, or new users, should be better, uh, the first thing you want to do is download our template. So once we have that downloaded, we can select it here. Let this open up in Excel. So here we can see username, first name, last name, email, phone, and password. Username, first name, and last name are required. So we want to make sure we get our username in there. First name, last name. And then if a phone number you want to add a password, so this is great, so then it's not just a random password, so then you don't have to change it again, but you can enter that password in if you do choose so. So this is how you can do it. You can do multiple users, so if we would like to add another, you just keep adding your users down into this list. I'm just going to do one here for example for us, but any users you can have multiple. This is great for adding big groups of users. So next we'll want to save this. Make sure that you do save it in a place that you can find it. Uh, desktop is perfect. Uh, just make sure it doesn't hide in this PC, something like that. Uh, but make sure it's somewhere where you can find that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. When you're ready to upload your new user list, go ahead and select Choose File. So now we can select this from our user template. This will bring up every single user that you have added to your list. Make sure that their username, first name, last name, email address, as well as password are all ready to go. Once you're done, you can hit Save. That's going to mass add those users in there. Now let's go up here, and we have our new user. You will have to go in and to the Actions section, make some edits to the profile because you have yet to select a role. So we need to come in, select that role, as well as our org units, and any extra info or teams as well. But that's how you add a new user into the system or to import a list of new users from our import feature. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your account manager. Thank you. Have a great day.